before this gets too much further carried away, let me get started. Thank you for coming. We're actually here to talk about the Biden economy, and uh, it, all evidence seemed to suggest that it's going from bad to worse. Uh, last week, we saw that the economy actually contracted. It actually shrunk. Uh, 1.4% was the decline in GDP. That was worse than expectations, and that's bad. We also, of course, know that inflation is completely out of control, rising at its fastest rate in 40 years, and wages are not keeping up, not even close. Bloomberg economists estimate that the average American household is spending an extra $5,200 this year. $433 $433 per month in extra expenses just from inflation. They don't get more goods and services with all that extra money. That's the extra money they have to pay to get the same amount that they would have had before. Milton Friedman once said that inflation is taxation without representation, and our Democratic colleagues are making this tax worse. Um, it's worth reflecting for a moment on how we got here. Our Democratic colleagues have had a long list of uh, excuses and uh, uh, folks to blame. First, of course, it was all transitory. Remember that? So just nothing to see here. Um, Then it was supply chains. Then it was greedy corporations. I suppose they were generous corporations prior to the inflation, and then they became greedy for some reason. Uh, Of course, Republicans generally. Vladimir Putin has been on the list at times. It's all nonsense. We know what the real reasons are. The Biden administration pursued policies that constrained supply of goods and services, while at the same time massive overspending that increased demand. Combination of less supply and more demand is always guaranteed to elevate prices. One example that's particularly vivid is the ongoing foolish war on U.S. energy. Whether it's halting pipelines, restricting new permits, restrictive regulations on oil and gas developments in every manner imaginable, the Biden administration is constraining our ability to provide the energy that we need. Meanwhile, all the massive overspending increases the demand and you get the inflation that we see as a result. Now, we have Democrat colleagues suggesting that in the face of a shrinking economy, we ought to have a huge tax increase. Well, that would further reduce the supply side of the economy. It's a remarkably terrible idea. Here's what should happen. The president really needs to stop catering to the radical left wing of his party, as he's been doing since he became president. He should end the war on U.S. energy, restart the Keystone Pipeline, expedite natural gas and oil pipelines so that we can deliver this tremendous resource we have to people all over the world. They should just totally drop the reckless tax and spending spree that they're still threatening, even now, and certainly abandon these plans to just turn student loans into grants, which will further exacerbate inflation. Um, We could, in Congress, focus on a few areas where uh, we could make real progress. First of all, embrace the goal of restoring America's energy independence cut through the jungle of red tape that slows down the production on throughout the supply side of our economy, eliminate government-created barriers to Americans working and saving, and increase opportunities to expand trade and have the lower costs that benefit from that. 